why you didn't tell the truth about who beat you up, but it means that he's still out there. And he could come after you again. It also means that whatever happens to Ethan will be your responsibility. Now, you don't, you don't want that. You don't want to live with that the rest of your life. But the charges have been dropped. Yes, yes, they have. But now Ethan has no way to clear his name. No way to prove that he's innocent. And your father is ready to take out his own kind of justice. You need to tell your dad the truth, or he's going to kill Ethan. You don't want that. You don't want an innocent man to die because you told a lie, do you? I just want this to be over. Yes, sir, I don't blame you. That's why I talked my mom into getting the charges dropped against Ethan. Well, you see, the only way that this is going to be over is for you to name the person who really hurt you. Your father is not going to let this go until Ethan pays with his life. Don't let that happen, Christina. Don't set Sonny loose on my son. I don't want to set him loose on anyone. Well, then tell the truth. Tell me. Tell me who really beat you up. Ethan said, if I were a little more mature, he'd be a happy man. He said that to you? To you, at the Haunted Star. That's why I got dressed up, to look more mature. Oh, well, I'm sure there was more to the conversation than that, but that doesn't matter now. You misunderstood. I thought I looked grown up in that dress, and even so cool, and... I thought I understood what he really wanted, even if he couldn't tell me. It sounds ridiculous. No, it doesn't. Not at all. I thought he'd be happy that I broke his date with Jennifer, that I was letting him off the hook or something. But I was totally wrong, and I made him mad. Well, he shouldn't have yelled at you, and he shouldn't have lost his temper. He shouldn't have grabbed you. I threw a drink at him. Well, of course, but he, you know, he should have just walked away. There's no excuse for his getting rough. He scared me. Whoever did this to you has done it before, haven't they? Christina, I grew up with a father who beat me every day. He also beat my sister and my mother. I know what it's like to be scared, helpless. And I know what it's like to protect the person who hurts you the most. Ethan lost his temper and he was mean to you, but he didn't beat you up and he shouldn't be the one to pay for it. I'm sorry. Tell me who did it. I was, I was scared. It just came out. It's okay, it's okay. Just tell me the person's name, Christina. I didn't mean to cause so much trouble. What the hell is going on here? Christina is going to tell me the truth. Christina already told you the truth. Ethan beat her up. She doesn't need you to try and convince her to say otherwise. No, we can't let an innocent man pay for this. You have to tell us what happened, Christina. Christina wants you and everyone else to leave her alone. Just tell me, and if you can't now... Come on, it's, you, it's, it's time to go. If you change Get your out. mind... <gasps> Sorry, sir, we're not open. Sonny Heard? So, should I be getting Ethan out of the country? Which is not to say that he's guilty of beating Christina up, because I know he isn't. And you must know that, too. Or he'd be dead already. Well, um... I'm actually staying out of the situation with Ethan. 
Why is that? Because I think there's a hole in Christina's story. So I told Lucky. And I know Lucky's gonna find out, and if Ethan's innocent, he's gonna be fine. Yeah, except that Sonny's already made up his mind. Do you think he's gonna change it, no matter what kind of evidence comes in? You know what, Luke, if, if I were you, I would have Lucky ask Dante to help him investigate. Because Sonny seems to believe everything that Dante says, despite what happened. I'm not exactly feeling the love here between you and Dante. Dante is a traitor. And I don't trust him at all. Luke is a very good friend. We've been friends for a while, right? Right. We've had our share of misadventures. Okay, Natasha, just say it. Luke, I know you're upset, but you can't just show up at my house and upset my daughter without expecting me to go all Cassidyne on you. You know, I gotta hand it to Mike. The waitresses here keep getting prettier every time. I'll bet you say that to all of us. I do, but it's still true. <laughs> Thank you. Having a nice day, you sick freak. You know, I always...